Accidents can happen at any time, and this is a true story about me being involved in an accident with a police car. So let me give you the story, the, the, whole, the whole story. I got contacted by a student who passed a test a couple weeks before. Now this happened quite a few years ago, and she contacted me, I've got myself a car, can I have a refresher lesson to just tell me what's going on in the car, where the controls are and so on. So yeah, no problem, we'll have an hour, I said. That'd probably be plenty of time for you. Because she was quite a decent driver in, in, in my car. So we, we met up, we went through a few controls, talked about the gears, and we'd done a bit of driving around the estates and she was fine. So let's go on the main roads and we're driving around there, everything's going fine. We come to a really busy roundabout where there's a queue of traffic. And we're chatting away and she's taking her time pulling forward, everything's going fine. Now we come to the front of the queue and she's looking for the gap and they were coming round really fast to us. And she was about to go and change the mind and just stopped. And she wasn't, she didn't, she didn't pull forward, she basically didn't go. And next thing it was, bang! We all kind of flew back in the seat and looked in the, over my shoulder and there's a police car, the lights flashing. Drove into the back of us, he did. So I said to the girl, I said, you all right? She said, what have I done wrong? I said, nothing. I said, you didn't nothing wrong, you just didn't go. I said, you couldn't go, there wasn't much of a gap. Uh, I said, are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm fine. I was fine. So we wasn't actually going anywhere. And, and the car behind us, the copper, who drove into us, um, I don't know how fast they were going at the time, but it wasn't, it couldn't have been fast because we were in the queue. So we got out of the car, I went to the back, and the copper got out, he says, I'm sorry, mate, I drove into the back here. I thought you'd gone. So I said, what happened then? He says, well, we're, we're behind you and we're chatting away because there's a, I don't know how many coppers in the car, maybe two or four people in the car, full, full car of coppers at the time. And uh, it says, I thought you're gonna look for the gap and just drove forward, not looking at you and went straight into the back of you. So, um, I'm sorry. He said, and because we're a police, I've got to get breathalyzed, he said. So I need to get breathalyzed. So it, it, the, his mate rang the coppers up. Next thing you know, two minutes later, the, the police turned up. So there's a couple of cop cars there now. And they breathalyzed the, the driver of the, the copper. They breathalyzed the girl who was driving in, in the car I was in. Uh, they obviously knew I was an instructor because I told them as an instructor, I showed them the instructor badge. That's why if you go teaching someone, you take your badge with you. Because it's the law. And um, obviously, we haven't, she hadn't been drinking. The copper hadn't been drinking, so we were fine. But because they drove into the back of us, it was their fault. Right? So their insurance company contacted her insurance company and said to us, well, well we've got a quote. It's going to cost, say, a £500 to fix your car but the car's not worth 500 pound. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it's probably worth less because what happened is their insurance company just paid a, a lump sum of cash to say, we'll take the car off you, here's a lump sum of money, go and get yourself another car. And that's what happened. So she went and got herself an upgrade, a better car with a bit more money. So she was happy. Obviously at the time it upset her, right? But I'm just telling you a story because accidents can happen any time. It doesn't matter if it's you, the car behind you, a copper, you know, if they go into the back of you, you know, you know, they shouldn't be doing that, should they? they? Should be paying attention. So I suppose the best tip I can give to you here is that if you're behind cars and you're looking at the gaps, keep an eye on the car in front of you, because if they don't go and you drive into them, it's your fault. So safe driving and I hope you enjoyed the story.